I've had lots of people ask me about uh, orientation as far as a SOLIDWORKS part is concerned. And today we're going to look at the, uh, the orientation of a part. You see here we have a basic part here. Uh, it's like a, um, an imported part that we brought in. And it, it looks pretty, pretty basic. Uh, we want to take this and put it on a uh, drawing. So we're just going to go in and uh, I'm just going to use a uh, A-size sheet to uh, place this part on. I get my view palette up and I drag in my front view and drag in the, uh, the top view. And you notice I'm getting a um, an isometric um, note here that's uh, wanting to know okay this is determined that this is an isometric view and this is not really what I'm wanting at all so I'm really wanting to change this these should be the front the top and the right view so if I just do a control tab here and let's go back to that part now if I just look at if I just hit my space bar for instance and pull up my orientation toolbar and I double click on the front then I'm not set the way it should be. So how do I fix this so it also corrects my drawing? Well, if I want to make this the normal to front version, I just uh, select that face and go normal to. I hit my normal to key or my end key on my keyboard shortcuts is normal to. You can also go up here and click your normal to at this point. Uh, that will also uh, orient this thing 90 degrees to your line of sight. Now once I get this set this way, how do I keep it that way? Because right now, if I just go in there and double click on front view, it's going to take it right back to the way it was before. So if we select there again, select normal two and this time we're going to select that orientation using the, the space bar and I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to click one time on the front orientation and I'm going to go up and tell it that I want to update the standard views and of course I get a notification that says standing this changing this standard view will change the orientation of any standard orthogonal named or child views in the drawing of this model do you want to make this change yes and then once we get to that point, then we should be able to rotate this thing around, hit our space bar, and double click on the front, and now we have a front view of it. If I double click on the uh, right, I should get a right view, and if I double click on the top, I should get a top view. So let's go back to our drawing, and let's see how our drawing looks now. If you notice, the drawing has now oriented accordingly. Uh, we now have a front a right and a top view. So just that easily we can change the orientation to show uh, the correct views that we're wanting in there. This also gives us the ability to change and add new views. So if we wanted this thing to be uh, at a certain angle, if we wanted to be able to you know, uh, tell it this is the uh, new view that I want, I just hit here, tell it that I want to add a new view it's going to ask me what that new view is and I'm just going to say new and I'm going to click OK and it actually adds that view into my um, listing, uh, my orientation listing so um, I can now go back over into my drawing and I have a, if I refresh it, I now have a new view there that I can drag out and drop in my drawing. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like to see more, contact us at SeekItTech.com. That's www.SeekItTech.com. Or you can call me here at 501-835-6868. Thank you. Have a great day.